The IT departments are, you know, it's a really interesting topic is because they will have, be of one or two mindsets. Uh, the first one is that, uh, and it depends on the people involved or or maybe all the already the initiatives that they're currently using. So IT will be in one of two camps. The first one is it completely pro cloud. So we have a lot of IT people that understand the benefits of cloud and are actively moving applications and data storage and, and things like that to the cloud. Uh, so they're being proactive. They're aware of what current technology trends. They're seeing what the what uh, the big companies are doing. The the you know you, you think about the cloud as the benefits for a small medium sized business. Well, the rea reality is that large organizations, government organizations, the U.S. government, the U.S. military, you know, even uh, companies that, are, that you think of as being secure and and have large data volumes like that. Those are the ones that are really driving a lot of the innovation for cloud and have been some of the early adopters. So the, the issue of security and performance, uh, those issues around the cloud are far are well behind us at this time. So the, the reasons to go to the cloud are compelling. So what we see is some of the IT people are, are already there and they're already making plans to move things to the cloud. So, I mean, if, if you have an IT person or department like that, it's very easy. They're in fact, maybe already looking at this on your behalf and you don't even know it. So they're looking at ways to leverage applications. If it's a CRM system like salesforce.com or an ERP system like Acumatica, you know, looking at taking taking some of that stuff off the, the client server, off the existing in-house servers and leveraging the cloud. Uh, however, you know, frankly, there are still a lot of other IT people that are, that are not there, that are, uh, they see the cloud as a threat. Uh, they may still have existing a uh, whole bank of servers and lots of in-house storage and client server applications and, and using um, you know network shares and, and things like that on local uh, networks and things like that now again there's 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 lots of reasons that that's the right solution for many IT departments uh, but what you still do find is a lot of people are territorial like that so if you have IT departments like that they may get their guard up and be uh, you know not you know too uh, interested in you looking at cloud applications but the reality of, of the uh, cloud evolution is that it, it kind of started there where the IT departments really had their their territory and they wanted to keep things the way they were but the, what the interesting thing is is that cloud uh, applications are typically driven by senior executives or stakeholders all over the place throughout the organization that maybe wanted a better place to store information or they wanted to implement a CRM system such as a Salesforce system or Sugar CRM, something like that, that, that was outside of the corporate standard. But what they did, pulled out a credit card, signed up for a free trial and started doing this completely outside of IT. And uh, the reality is that, that that's where a lot of the uh, cloud initiatives have started. And you know, lo and behold, you got the uh, these rogue sales users. They're using these cloud-based CRM systems. They start using it. Next thing you know, their buddies using it, uh, and they add it here and there. And next thing becomes that's the way everybody's using it, with <laughs> completely the knowledge that IT had you know, no knowledge of it. Well, IT needs to you know, in that case, what are they going to do? Tell the sales guys not to keep selling and, and using the system, or are they going to embrace what they've done? Well, they really have no choice. They'll embrace what they've done. Uh, so again, it depends on, on you know, how you approach IT, it completely depends on the people and the uh, kind of corporate culture you have in place. But what we do know is that it's not going to stop. The cloud uh, evolution, cloud adoption is going to happen whether it's pushed or driven by IT or whether it's pushed or driven by the business, whether that's the executives, sales, operations, you know, anywhere. So it's continuing to drive and the reason is it's more efficient, you can get more done for less and, uh, and everyone can be a little bit more efficient in what they need to do every day.